Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mods 6. Uh, it seems like it's... Oh, it seems like we have a few bugs, uh, but we also have it uh, nearing night time, so... Hmm, I'm probably going to have to relog to, to fix this uh, bug. But uh, shaders are working in this uh, latest version of the mod pack. I believe it's 1.4.0, uh, the mod pack run. Um, you just need to make sure you get the updated version of Optifine, so... That, I guess we'll keep that in there. Um, I'll come back and fix this little uh, sky glitch that I've got at the moment. Ah, this is a lot better. The sky now works. And look at the rays from the moon. Is that the moon? I mean, it must be the moon. Um, let's... Oh, there's a couple zombies. We need to find a bed in this village and go to sleep. So let's try and do that. Oh, here we are. Thank you for the bed, villager. Oh, he sparkled. <laughs> Why did he sparkle? Clay balls for an emerald. Oh, we can smelt him. We can smelt clay by giving it to this village. Villager. Oh, and we get potatoes so we can grow some. And a peony? <laughs> Alright, well, that, that's pretty cool, I guess. Alright, what I might actually do is set up some sort of farm. Now, did I go mining in this playthrough? No, I, no, I haven't. I might actually be able to use the aluminum for a, um, a bucket, perhaps? If we're lucky. Was there a bucket there? No. All right, well, it does not look like I can do that. So we're going to have to use iron for a bucket. Um, which means our farm's going to have to just be along the shoreline, I think. Which, it's not too much too much of an issue. I'll, I'll make a hoe and uh, we'll get started on that. You know what? We don't actually have enough cobble. So I'm going to see if I can't just vein mine as much of this stone as I can. Now, what I notice is this isn't stone. So in the top left, you can see this is dacite and this is stone. Now, if I hold vein mine... It looks like it highlights this stone as well. Let's just vein mine, see what happens. Okay. Oh, so it just broke a big chunk. It didn't get specifically just the um, the block I was looking at. So I wonder if that's a setting we changed or or what. But we did get quite a bit of cobble, so we can get started. Um, I guess they both they're both cobblestone. Do they both are they the exact same stats? It does look like they are. Alrighty, let's make a Paxel. Easy. That's just an axe, a pickaxe, and a shovel. What is that? Is that a fish? There's a little fish. Oh. Is it just called fish? It's called a bluegill from some sort of agriculture mod or something. The water looks beautiful with shaders. Honestly, the shadows and stuff and this, it's cool, but like just the water. If they add this sort of water to normal Minecraft, I think it would be such a... Such a big benefit. Um, at least that's what I think. Uh, let's clear a little bit of the dirt here so that we can have a nice looking farm. And an effective farm. Okay, so um, from memory, we can go four wide away from a source block. So this should be perfect. Let's have a big farm. Like this. Yeah, there we go. They're getting... Uh, what would you say? Damp? What's the term? What is this? That was weird. Alrighty. Um, let's get planting, I guess. So, I'm going to plant all of these. And then in that chest, we actually have a bunch of other random uh, plantables. We've also got berries. Uh, I'm not going to plant the berries. But we've got them. <laughs> get the tea leaves, some wheat, rice. We can't plant mutton, as far as I'm aware. Um, let me know if we can. <laughs> now, I believe for most of this stuff, you just, yeah... You put it in your crafting table and you get some seeds out of them. Uh, that's already a seed. The rice we can turn into a seed. Tea leaf. Beans. Can we get bean seeds? We can. Okay. And mushroom seeds. So, I guess we'll plant this stuff on this side because it's a bit of a mess. In fact, I might have rows of them. So, as this grows, we can expand it this way. How does that sound? So, like, for instance, like that. Does that make sense? <laughs> I think it makes sense. A lot of this stuff, I don't know what it is. Like, this thing. Qu Quin... Quinoa? Quinoa? No idea. And we'll put the wheat there. Uh, I guess we'll grow some hemp. The wheat will probably have a bit bigger, so I'll, we'll have, like, wheat in this area. Like a 3 by 4 And that should be good. And we have a, some flowers. That should be pretty good. Ooh, already got stuff growing. Alright, so hopefully that will grow quick enough to feed us. For now, we have apples, and we do have a few berries. Maybe I will plant them. Just, just as, like, a little backup. And also, we can break these and get other plants if we want. I'm not sure if we want to, though. Um, yeah. 
Okay, so, uh, from the comments, I got a lot of help um, to do with the bees. So, apparently we can make a bee jar. Now, do I have sand? Uh, does not look like it. We actually do have wool, so I should probably make a bed, shouldn't I? So that we don't have to keep running back to that village. Boom, boom, boom. Bed, perfect. Perfect. And I also need to build a house at some point. Um, but apparently, we can make a, a bee jar. Jar. Jar of bees. Bees of jar. Empty bee jar. Here we go. From resourceful bees. So five bits of glass should get us this bad boy. And then word on the street is we can capture bees in it. Um, now, I don't really want to ruin my shoreline. Um, so is there any like excess sand I could get? Like, yeah, this bit here. And I'll grab this bit over here. Ooh, floating sand. Beautiful. Ooh, lots of loot down here. There actually is quite a lot of loot. I see some iron, which we desperately need. Some copper, it looks like. Maybe tin or something. And there's some uh, uranite or, or uranium stuff. Now, uh, I learned in the Diablo 20 pack, I, I looked it up, and we can actually make reactors, like early game reactors. So, um, they, they, they don't make too much power, but it's pretty cool, you know, having a reactor. So, we might actually... Hmm... I'll come back and gather that later. Um, we'll leave for now because we're on a we're on a bee quest currently. Is that a drop? It is. It looks like a dead squid. Ooh, and there is a drowned. So we got a tentacle and an ink sack. There's also a drowned in the water. Hopefully he, I don't know, drowns. <laughs> okay, I need to make a furnace. And then we're going to... I wonder, can you make like a... I wish you could make different types of furnace. Like, um... Say, like this color furnace, you know, like a white furnace or an andesite furnace or a granite one. I think that would be a pretty cool addition. Like, much like with the um, wooden trees. Um, all the, the wooden trees? The, the different uh, chests that you get from the different colored wood. <laughs> the, the different, the wooden trees. I like that. Um, I'm going to smelt up this sand. I'll probably go for 10 for now. Um, so that should be two, um, whatchamacallits? Um, two bee jars. And I'm also probably going to want to make another... Oh, actually, we've got Blast Furnace, don't we? Hmm. I don't think you can smelt sand in a Blast Furnace, no. Um, can you cook logs? No. I need a, I need to make some charcoal. Hmm. Alright, we're going to have to uh, probably set up another furnace. Here we go. And, much like the Dial of 20 pack, we have Pickle Tweaks, apparently. Which gives us uh, tiny little bits of charcoal, so... Each of these peaks burns one uh, particular item, so we can chuck in our two charcoal and put in less than 16 items, and we're not wasting any fuel. It'll only burn the 10 items. We'll have, uh, what, six bits of uh, charcoal left over? And yeah, perfect. All right, here we go. Five glass. Oh, no. Do I need... Oh, <laughs> I, need I need six per. Okay, we can chuck uh, two extra bits of sand in. Here we go. A glass... A bee jar. A bee jar. Okay, here we go. Um, put some stuff away. So now, if we see a bee, we should be able to just go bloop and pick him up. Um, I would go out hunting right now, but it does appear to be nearing night time. So we'll probably sleep and then go adventuring. Um, because that sounds like a good idea. Alrighty, it is daytime. Um, I'll go out with our one bee jar. So I think we're also meant to find nests. Oh, okay. No, this is a pear, not a nest. Um, but we're meant to be able to find bee nests. And we might need those to make a um, a beehive of some sort. So I think there might be a lot of exploring I'm going to have to do off camera. Actually, before I go, I need to set a waypoint. Alrighty, open up FTB chunks. Click add waypoint. And we'll call this home. Beautiful. Now we have home on our map. And so we should always be able to find... Um, how do I open it? This waypoint here. Perfect. Oh, look at that tree. Is that a tree? What am I looking at? Maybe a chunk just hasn't loaded in? That looks very odd. Um, we might <laughs> we might not go that way. Oh, I just figured out a big cheat we can do. Look in the top right at the uh, mini-map over there. Do you see in the bottom left of the map, there's like little bee faces. So I'm pretty sure these are bees. So I think we can go and hunt them down. And oh, here's one of these big trees again. Um, we should be able to find a bee, and hopefully... Oh, is that the bee there? Up in the sky? We'll just run past this well. Um, I think it is. Yeah, there's a bee! Oh, little particle effects. Where's he going? 
Here he is. Is he just a normal bee or is he a resource bee? He's just a Minecraft bee. He's just a bee. Look at him. All right. He's covered in pollen. I wonder, is there a beehive anywhere? There's another bee here. So we must be close. We, we have to be close to a beehive. Ooh. Resourceful bee nest. Here we go. Okay. I think that's just a normal bee as well. Um, looks like there's also another bee somewhere in that direction. All right. How do we get... The bee nest. Do I just pick it up with an axe? Or do I... Here, maybe we should grab a bee first, just in case, um... You know, they don't like me taking their nest. Uh, at least we'll have a bee. There's a bee there. Oh, here he is. Oh, filled bee jar. Here he is. Bee type Minecraft. So he's not a resource bee. He's just a Minecraft bee, I guess. Um, so we've got him. We're going to pick up their nest... Hopefully, this is the right move. Okay, we got the nest. I don't think anyone's angry at us for taking the nest. The bees aren't, you know, coming out in a swarm. Let's uh, head back home and see what we can do with this. Oh, wow. This is the ravine. There's some lava down there. The lava looks beautiful with the uh, shaders. Okay, we have returned home. We have a resourceful bee nest that can hold two bees and three honeycombs. Hive time modification plus 5%. Okay, uh, let's see. So we can craft this into a beehive with some glass. Uh, so some grass, sorry, not glass. Now the grass... Oh, okay. We're probably going to need to get a... Um, oh, what do you call it? My gun, I think. Uh, shears. Now, can we get, like, wooden shears? Living wood shears. Living rock. Normal shears. Mana steel. Uh, flint shears. Here we go. Sticks, string, and flint. That's probably what we're going to go for. That seems pretty straightforward. Ooh, we've got silent gear. Okay. I really enjoyed this. This was like a Tinkers. It's like the the new age Tinkers, I guess. Now, the only problem is you need blue dye and uh, paper, and I don't think we have sugar cane. No, it, I, I don't see any directly around me, so we might have to look for that later. You know, I also don't have uh, flint, and I don't have gravel. Hmm. Okay. You know what? I, I wonder if we can just use the bee nest. What happens if I right-click a bee on it? How does this work? Smoke time. So I, I, I believe as well I'm meant to either use a smoker or place a campfire underneath it. So maybe we'll try and make a campfire with uh, some of this charcoal. Oh, well that was easy. Charcoal, some sticks, oak logs gives us a campfire. Place this guy under here. So now... The bee nest should be smoked. I don't know if it's meant to be directly underneath. Because if you look in the top left, it has smoke time zero. Um, so I'm not too sure what to what to make of this. Let's um, we'll place the bee. Is he alright? Is he okay with us? I'm hoping he comes and chills in here when he realizes he doesn't have another nearby hive to go to. Alright, so I went ahead and placed some flowers around the beehive and, and just sort of around the base because he was just flying away. And I realized, well, the bees want flowers, right? So maybe if I give it a flower. Um, I also accidentally spun this guy around. So maybe I'll try and place him normally. Whoa! whoa! Okay, so he's going to die now, isn't he? Can I pick you up? I picked him up. Is he still going to die? Oh, no. Okay, let's... um. I'm going to sleep through the night. I, I think that's good, though. Because that means that he got mad because I broke his beehive. So it's, it actually became his beehive. I hope he doesn't die. He's, he's meant to die. But maybe because I picked him up, he won't. Worst case, I think we'll have to go get some other guys. What do we have here? Leek. Um, rice, tea leaves. Okay, so I can plant a turnip. Alright, look at him. He's full of uh, pollen. And he's sort of flopping around. Is he going to go in the hive? He's <laughs> Where, where's he going? Oh, he died. Um, I, I'm going to assume it's because he stung me. Because that makes sense. So I'm going to go and grab another bee. I, I, I see some on the map over here. Um, and if they have a beehive, I might kidnap that as well. Um, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Oh, here we, oh, no, this is not a bee. This is like a little rabbit. 
I can't, I, <laughs> I can't pick this thing up in a, in a gl glass jar. Um, where's the bee? Oh, there he is. He's up in the clouds, in the trees. Alright, I'm now up in the trees. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, I see him. Come here, B. Didn't expect to see a human up here, did ya? Yoink. Ah, uh, yeah. And hopefully we can jump in the water. Oh, what's this? Aquamarine. Nice. Okay, I have brought a B home. Bam. Oh, he went inside. We have a bee in here. So I assume he's now going to make honey. And, and he'll come out and he'll gather more stuff and he'll go back in. Perfect. Success. Right? <laughs> I think so. I think we've actually we've figured it out. Oh, look at that. The village has an iron golem. That is perfect because uh, there were quite a few zombies over there earlier. Um, so at least we know it's protected. Um, I definitely could do with looting the village a bit as well. Um, I didn't properly do that. So maybe I go do that while this bee bees around. Actually, you know what? I might go and grab another bee. Um, so we can have two bees and possibly breed them. Alright, there's meant to be a bee around here. He's been a, he's been evading me. Oh, there he is. I see him. You're not going to get away this time, bee. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'll return with, with this bee and, and we'll check to see if the honey's made. Um, we might also try and grab some flowers on the way back. Oh, there's the little particles. But I still don't really know what they do. Um, so yeah, I'll grab some flowers, return to the base, and yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys what's up. Oh, and we have a, a cherry tree, I guess. Oh, plenty of cherries. The cherries actually seem to do quite a bit of hunger. More than I thought. One and a half hearts? Or is it two hearts? I don't know. I'm confused. Uh, but here, we got a few more flowers, so we can put these around. Now, I don't know if um, Batania flowers work. I, I would assume not, but it looks nice. Alright, here we go. B is here. So B will grab pollen and then should go in here. Um, honey level 1. Okay. And it says smoke time 0. Now, I was told that this campfire would work. But I'm a little scared. The other option is getting a smoker. A B smoker. Which uses a canister. So it can't fire some iron. Um, and a belly. The fact that the campfire is part of the recipe, I assume this would work. Um, so we're meant to be able to get honey. Right? Um, which I assume we do with a jar. So we get honey. And then we put it through something. Hmm. Or maybe you don't. Because look here. It says apiary and beehive. You get these from. All these honeycombs. Um. Hmm. Okay. So we either need an apiary. Which is not happening. We do not have another star. Or we need. Um, where is it? A beehive. Which I think can happen. Because it's just grass. But we need to make shears. And the shears we don't have. <sighs> Alright. Uh, I'm going to go on a hunt for... Well, I guess we can go mining. Especially in the ravine. I might try and find that ravine. And grab some of that iron. Actually, I think it was uh, over here. Near the sand. Oh, okay. Uh, there's the sand over there. Oh, what is that green block? Can I see from here? Green cave crystal from Quark. That looks awesome. Um, now, I only want two uh, iron, and I think this iron is floating, isn't it? So, I can't really... Oh, no, I can. I just have to be really careful. Now, I could vein mine it. Dare I vein mine it? I reckon we go for it. Alright, I'm going to vein mine this. Fingers crossed it all goes in my inventory. Perfect. Alright, okay. I'm going to go back. Um, ooh, do I smelt it up, or do we make a quartz grindstone? Probably a grindstone, so we can double our ores. Oh, look at this. Honey level 5. Smoked true, it says. I, I, I don't know if I noticed the smoked true before. Is this guy... Oh, he's just being a bit weird. Alrighty, I'm going to grab the Surtis Quartz. Now, I believe we also need uh, three stone for this recipe. We're going to need sticks, so we'll make some sticks. We need a wooden gear, so four sticks like this to get a wooden gear. Um, we're going to need this to be smelted, so I guess we'll wait patiently. Alright, here we go. We have the stone. Um, and what we want is a grindstone. It's one of these bad boys. Um, so what it is, is two cobble, three Surtis Quartz Crystals, three stone, so cooked cobble, and a wooden gear. And then we also need a crank. So sticks in this formation gives you a wooden crank. And that we will slap on top. So we can place it here, put the crank on top with a shift click. And we can place our ore in here. 
And basically, we hand pulverize it. So we spin this around, and slowly but surely, it turns it into double ores. Now, I, I don't think it's 100% of the time, but as you can see, one ore has turned into two dust. So we can start smelting that in here, actually, which will be very, very cool. And this should do it a lot faster. Um, but yeah, it essentially doubles it. So it's a pretty early game. I mean, you know, you have to spin it around, but it, it, it sure beats mining double the resources. Alright, we have our shears. It is also becoming nighttime, so let's try and do this quickly. And we need what? A bunch of grass? I believe eight? Seven? Eight. Oh, we got an extra bit there. Um, now, hmm, I can't really pick up the beehive with the bees in it, because they'll get grumpy at me. But we can pick up the bees and then the beehive. So, I'm going to have to wait till daytime, because I think they're hiding in there. Um, so we'll sleep, and then we'll pick them up. Alright, one bee has shown his face. I picked him up. We are now awaiting the other bee, who has apparently decided to sleep in. Um, our, mm, no. I was going to say we could just break it and then quickly pick him up. But if he hits me, he dies. So I don't really want that, do I? Well, I, I guess while he's uh, still sleeping, we can expand this a little bit. There's also a bee over there that I guess we, <laughs> we could get if we don't want to wait for this guy. Um, oh, where are we? My inventory's being... Huh? What is this? What's wrong with my inventory? Alright, there we go. The rice was being a bit weird. There we go. Oh, these are fully grown? Huh. I think our farm's coming along uh, quite nicely. Oh, did I hear him? I did. Alright, we have both of our bees. Uh, I'm just going to break this. And we're going to upgrade it. So we're going to place it in here. Surround it in grass. And get a tier 1 beehive. That can now hold... Um, four bees and five honeycombs. So we're going to place this back up. Here it is. It has no inventory. I can't right-click to open it. But we should be able to place our bees back down. And they should be happy. And we can go and collect other bees if we want. Or, I think we can actually breed the bees. Shall we try doing that? Okay. I right-clicked them both with flowers. And we got a little bee. Nice. So I'll do that again once they're, uh, you know... Ready to do the, the birds and the bees, or I guess the parrots and the bats. <laughs> and we'll get our fourth one. That is awesome. Alright, so now I guess you guys are going to have to tell me how to turn this into honeycomb. And then how to turn these bees into resource bees. Um, or if I have to go and find specific resource bees, because I, I honestly don't really know. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Alright, so next episode, I guess we could... We could do more bee stuff, because the bee stuff seems pretty fun um, and interesting. Um, but we probably want to start mining. At least to some extent. So I might start like a strip mine next episode. Um, and then I can do most of the mining off camera. Or like, you know, cut every time I find a cool ore or something. Um, or do a time lapse. Yeah, I could do a time lapse. Oh, I don't want to hit them. <laughs> um, but I guess that's it for now. We'll keep these episodes short so you guys can uh, keep up and, and keep telling me what I, what I should do in the next episode. Um, I hope I didn't miss anything. Uh, if I did, let me know. Um, and this is the latest version of all the mods, 6. And I've got shaders on. They're working fine. Make sure you update your OptiFine. <laughs> that was a nice little rhyme. Um, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.